Hello, and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, and we are going to be doing the Anomaly mission for this weekend. This is March 1st. Ah, congratulations, everybody. You made it to March. So, first two months of the year gone. Leap year, of course. So, yesterday was still February. It's weird to call it the 29th, but hey, there you are. So, we're looking at a field of stars here as we come in on my main save, and we're going to go ahead and get started on the latest anomaly mission. Um, the expedition's still going. Omega Expedition is still live. We still got a, about two or three weeks to get that done. For those of you who are just starting out, there's plenty of videos online from Jason and from Delta, um, Zane's World, and a great many other people who have done some, hey, how to play this Omega mission type you know, uh, video. So, and I'm planning on doing my own. I plan on putting out a few videos on that myself. Um, I do have my permadeath series that I've been working on, and I, I encourage you all to check that out. It is finally complete. 27 episodes of a permadeath run to the center of the galaxy. Um, I'm currently doing on that run, I'm in the epilogue episodes. We're, we're actually working on um, trying to get myself a pirate dreadnought, fi finding a freighter first, then a pirate dreadnought, and then we're going to work on um, let me see the settlement that I've been working on. I've actually been doing short video clips of that one. And I'm going to be combining them all into one video so you can see how the settlement thing works out. Um, so that'll be a nice little thing. We might even throw that into the 101 section of my channel so you can check out how the settlement works out. Um, pretty cool stuff. Uh, so hopefully you like that. But let's get this anomaly video going and see what's present. As you can see, you got the uh, bluish icon at the very top indicating that there's a special mission available along with the other three on the side there. So let's see what the Nexus has in store. Foe of my foe, we're going to rescue somebody. Rescuing a stranded life, uh, life form. Now my prizes on this are going to be the Warp Hypercore along with the 18, 1800 Quicksilver. So there it is, Warp Hypercore. But it's also going to give me 400,000 units. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and initialize the mission and start it. Let's head out. Go back to my ship over here in the corner. Mission started. Foe of my foe. Hope you all have had a great weekend. Or will have a great weekend, as the case may be, whenever you get a chance to view this. Foe of my foe, we're going to reach the crash site. So it should throw me into hyperspace. There we go. I just got to wait for it to appear. Now I do have a mod attached to my game here that eliminates pulse lines so obviously when i'm in that pulse mode going to another planet it eliminates all the lines you see on the screen it helps the videos out just a little bit all right let's see where we are we're in the yep you named it system i'm not even going to try that name all right looks like it's sending me somewhere hold on over this way okay hold on Follow the arrow. There we go. Right down there. Toxic Anomaly. Oh, this ought to be a fun planet. It's got emerald, so we're in a green star system. For those of you who need that, you can make a base here. If you don't have the warp hyper core that'll uh, the warp warp core that'll get you there, you can make a base here and come anytime you like. You can also harvest emerald on this planet and get some for your own inventory so that way you can build things with that. That's very handy to have. Good thing to get. Got ammonia on this planet. Silver. Silver's handy. We're building certain components on bases and things like that. Let's see. Looks like a halfway decent planet. Um, but when I see toxic anomaly, I wonder to myself what I'm going to expect. So it says to go there. Now, is that an approximate location? It is approximate. Okay, so we want to go into first-person mode, and I want to look at my radar at the bottom of the screen. I'm looking for a little dot. Looks like we got one over there. So that little square dot over there is where we're going to find our pilot. Okay. So this is the guy right here. Like a crashed ship. Except as you can see there's someone wandering around down there. Now normally, lately it's been a traveler. And not just like a Viking or a Gek or something like that. Yeah, it's a traveler this time too. So we've got a superheated rainstorm. we obviously got a hot planet here. So be careful of that as the heat storm kicks in. As you see the temperatures rising. You are going to require heat protection. So don't forget to get a shield for that. Traveler Bullwell. He seems surprised to see me. Their eyes search mine, wondering why I am here and how I have found them. Looking defeated, Traveler Bullwell reveals their ship's burnt-out user authenticator. This part is far beyond repair, but it could potentially be replaced. All right. 
So what we got to do, see, I'm in a storm too, just by the way, 237 degrees out there. So it's a little balmy. Might need some sunscreen. All right. So you can also pick up some of the resources here if you wish, but we're going to go straight to it. It wants us to find buried technology. So if I look through this, it's going to tell me it's going to find a signal and we're going to look for buried technology, but it's altered slightly for the for the particular um, episode. Two ways you can get it. Either you can dig it up with the, with your you know, with, with your ter terrain manipulator, or if you want to, something you can try doing is you can go into your settings and you have a first person toggle camera switch. I have mine set to the hotkey. So if I go to number two, I can go into first person mode and I can just wander over it like so. And you see, you can just pick it up just like that. An encrypted auth user authenticator. So that's good. We're going to go back out of that first person mode. I don't like that. Okay, so here we are. We have it, and what do we do? It says to analyze it with E. So we're going to go into our inventory. My inventory is quite full. And we're going to go here and analyze. You see it says to hit the E button in my case. I don't know what it will be on your system or controller, but there you go. And it does a pullback. Now it looks for, it says, component signature corrupt, terminal not located. This could happen multiple times to you. So you just go to another component. So you search, and it tells you where there's another one. There's one down there. That's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to circle it. No, nope, won't let me do it. Okay. So it's going to keep it highlighted for me. We're going to head over there. You could dig under the ground if you want. Now remember, these are some steep places, so make sure your jetpack's up to snuff. Okay, folks? Try not to drop or hit too hard or else you're going to feel it. And it looks like we got those wonderful special plants right there. I don't like you. You're going to go away. Gone. Eliminated by the runic lens. <laughs> so again, we don't even need to be in first person. This one's so close to the surface, we could just pick it up. Okay, there it is again. So, we'll go back in your inventory and select it again. The other one dis disappears, and you don't need it anymore. So, it'll keep looking. Hey, we got a de decryption terminal. Now, there is, besides having to jump from buried tech to buried tech you may run into a situation where when you get to the decryption terminal corrupt forces may try to stop you in other words corrupted sentinels so keep in mind you may have a little bit of a fight under your on your hands okay just remember that so if you got a weapon keep it handy so i'm going to keep my runic lens up i can use my neutron cannon but it's really not important Let's get in our starboard runner. And where was that? Let's see. I think I moved. Oh, there it is. Follow the icon. There you go. And it is a minute away. And if we adjust our settings, 29, 28, I can adjust by diverting power to engines. And you see I just chopped about 10 seconds off of that. And we're going to go a little bit quicker. And if you're wondering how quick, oh, on the left-hand side, about 345 is what we're doing on this ship right now units per second. I do have a faster ship. I do have a Sentinel ship that'll do well over 400. So, here we go. Here's our terminal. Move your ship to the side. Make sure you're out of the way, because if you do get into a fight, you can either stand on your ship or not. Now, see, it says, warning, corrupted Sentinels, and Sentinels may try to reclaim the salvaged part. Hopefully not. Looks like they are. So, if you try to go to the terminal now, watch what happens. Terminal status locked. Sentinel activity detected. So we cannot do anything until we get rid of these sentinels. You see, they're not attacking on site. So at least that gives you something. But you know what? We're going to have to take them out. So I can use this. It's going to take too long, though. So I'm going to go back to my neutron cannon and melt these guys. There we go. Wasn't there one more? There he is. Wow, he wasn't even attracted to the, all the uh, infighting going on over here. Looks like you just got three to take out. All right, there we go. And we're done. So, that didn't take much at all. Here we go. Let's go to our terminal. So, now the terminal status is active. Please present compatible device. So, we're going to decrypt using the, the unit that we need here. User authenticator detected pairing. He downloaded syncing. Device decrypted. And we're done. So, not quite. We're almost done. At this point, now we got to head back to our stranded traveler. 
and deliver said component. And since it's only 20 seconds, we'll just take the long route rather than bouncing out into space. Now, I don't know how long it is between storms here, but we just experienced one and now it's over and we, we don't seem to be experiencing any yet. So you may at least have one storm you may have to deal with. Okay. And we'll come to a nice little stop on the edge here so we can just jump out and talk to him right there. So... Traveler seems surprised to see me there. I search mine, wondering why I'm here and how I found them. It's like a repeat all over again. So we're going to give him the user authenticator. And he just vanishes without even saying anything. Look at that. Gone. You're welcome, you ungrateful little... Anyway, let's go ahead and get out of here. So life performance rescue. The mission is complete. To get our reward, we have to go back to the anomaly. So let's go ahead and do that. It's got not a bad looking planet, to be honest with you, but yeah, those storms can be a little bit of a problem. So let's pull in our anomaly. And as you know, all these ships keep popping into place and everything like that, and we're going to go ahead in. And whoop, we're through. There we go. Ah, have we decent parking space for once? That's nice. All right, let's head back over. And get our reward. Our eternal reward. There we go. And there we go. Complete the mission. And we get everything we need. And that should take care of it. We got our two, uh, one more hypercore. Come on, it should have been two. Did we get two? I don't even know where they are. They're probably going to be in my other inventory. Just one more warp hyper core, but that's okay. I'll put them in my starship. Um, I don't even know why I have those. Okay, let's go. Now, I'm going to check out the Quicksilver vendor, but if I'm not mistaken, I don't think there's anything in the creation area. Yes, they haven't come out with anything new recently. So those are still there, and I pretty much got about a good portion of things that are in here anyway. But keep in mind that when you're on your expedition, you can go in here and select number three, and you can get your expedition rewards. I've already got a fair amount of them. As you know, I've already got my Atlas flight pack. You can see it on my person. And the starboard runner. I've been flying it. And the Atlas Center, uh, Se uh, Scepter, of course. I've been using that. As well as the Atlas Head Shield. You saw it on my head, didn't you? As well as an Omega Detail and its title, the Starborn. Look up here. Yeah. Okay, shh. Anyway, so that's what you, how you can get those. So that should take it today. We're all done with the Anomaly mission. And we want to thank you all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe, and we thank you very much. If you like what you've been seeing in the content, besides hitting the like button and subscribing, you can check out some of the other videos on my channel. Thank you again very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next week, or maybe over the weekend. Watch for videos coming out soon. Take care, everybody.